productive day of homemaking for me always starts off in the morning and it starts off with my rituals and habits. So for me being productive, it doesn't always include just hammering out everything on my list right away, but just making things that I need to get done a priority throughout my entire day as a stay-at-home mom of two littles. So drinking hot water in the morning, getting my energy going for the day with a nice hearty egg and veggie breakfast and just making sure that my mindset is right for the day is really helpful. And as a mom of littles, that can be challenging. I'm sure many of you know or have experienced that, that productivity can sometimes feel low when we are taking care of those who need us. But getting, getting things done that are just kind of a daily task can be part of your productivity. I do wipe my floor in my kitchen once a day at least. Sometimes if we've had a really messy meal, I'll just wipe under my little girls' chair um, right after the meal and it takes 30 seconds. But that can also be part of accomplishing those tasks and being productive. So another thing I always like to do is get ready for the day. I'll put on a dress, I'll put on a skirt, I put on a little makeup, do my hair, um, put in some earrings, and be ready for being home with my family and accomplishing those tasks that need to get done and just being a mom and wife as well. I think we can sometimes get bombarded with all that we have to do throughout the day and not even know where to start. But I just wanna encourage you, and this is for myself too, that just starting is amazing. So just weeding a little section of your garden, picking some of the produce with your little ones that need to be picked, um, just washing some dishes for the day is just a place to start and don't make a heavy list so sometimes my lists include three things and then if i get them crossed off that is wonderful and so encouraging to me and part of being a homemaker and getting things done includes making meals and that is something that takes a lot of time as you all know as homemakers or um, you know that I do do a lot of homemade meals so picking the herbs for this pork roast and getting the veggies cut and just getting all of that ready takes time but yet it is part of my productive day and it's something that I really enjoy doing for my family So on days that I do want to accomplish more, I do often do a crock pot meal or one that I can start and then just let it cook for most of the day. And so that just makes my mind be at ease knowing my family's getting a nutritious meal in the evening and I have time to work on things that I know I would like to get done for the day. Getting help is another way to assist in your productivity or at least what I feel to be productive. It may not be the most helpful per se having a toddler clean but it gets them um, thinking about what it's like to assist and clean and wipe things down and sweep and shake out rugs and just all those little day-to-day -day tasks and it's fun to see my little girl helping when um, she just asks and asks for a rag to start wiping down windows in the door. Kitchen tasks can be very tedious, um, but one of my favorite things to accomplish is 
having a clean floor. So yes, you will see me clean it three times today, but a quick one minute Swiffer of the entire floor is a check off my mental list of getting the floor clean after lunch and when the girls are napping. I've had the question before, how do you do so much gardening with littles? Well, I do it during their nap time. I hoe the garden quite a bit and I also just do it when they come out and play in the dirt or sit in the stroller and play together. It's just something that I have to be okay with them getting dirty or them having to be creative on their own and I think that's so good for little minds. And also, being productive includes resting a little bit. So I love my afternoon latte. This is a special treat after the garden's been hoed, come in and my daughters are still napping, work on some videos, um, check some emails, and just rest my mind a little bit and my body. I like making different things for my family to enjoy. So this is a really delicious chocolate coconut granola with maple syrup as a sweetener. And so I'll share the link in the description box. But I just like having nutritious foods to snack on for myself and for my littles and for my husband as well. And just being in the kitchen is honestly very relaxing for me, but yet it's also a way of being productive. And I think trying new things, if you're not sure about being in the kitchen, experiment with new things, test them out, and see what you enjoy doing. it's pesto making time the basil is in season and I am just using almonds instead of pine nuts for my pesto and again this was on my docket to do today because basil was just overgrowing in my aquaponics so it really took all of 10 minutes to do and my girls were awake they just enjoyed watching and playing and so just getting some of these things done that I know um, needed to get done during the day but yet will be useful in the future because I just stuck this pesto right in the freezer in a mason jar so it'll be a great addition to a pasta in the future. You also do have to just continue to take those little pockets of special moments with your kids and with your loved ones to help encourage your mind and body for the rest of the day. And now to the nutritious, yummy meal that was put in a crock pot at 9 in the morning and is ready to eat. Those end of the evening tasks like taking out the garbage are the final things on my to-do list and on my day of being productive. And then it's time to relax. After the girls have gone down for bed, I get to light a candle, drink some chamomile tea from the fresh chamomile I picked from my garden, and thank the Lord for the day I had with those little special moments with my family and the delicious food and the things that I was able to accomplish.